morning and uh, welcome to, to morning prayer here on Saturday the 13th of March. I hope this finds you well in good heart and in good spirits. Uh, sorry for the uh, lateness of my arrival. Let's put that there. Uh, somebody just came to the door um, just as you were um, just about to get ready. Um, Pippa has been in and out all morning. She doesn't know whether she's coming or going. I think that's the uh, the windy weather, I think. She doesn't know whether she wants to be outside where actually the temperature's not too bad or whether she wants to be inside where it's not quite so windy. So she is going to uh, infiltrate everything this morning. As I say, I hope this finds you in good heart and in good spirit this morning. We're going to use uh, our normal um, daily prayer, um, either the app or the website, or even you might even have uh, the red book. So we will use that uh, when we start in a moment. Yeah, De Pippa is definitely back with us, definitely back with us today. She was asleep on the bed yesterday. Um, I thought she was outside, but she was actually, she had sneaked in to, to, to lie on the bed. Um, Perhaps it was a protest or something about something that I've done. Who knows? Um, tomorrow morning, half past nine for our Zoom catch up. Um, if you're able to join us, that would be brilliant. Um, um, also on Zoom tomorrow at 11 o'clock is the family service from Stanton. So you're more than welcome to join that. Please contact Liz uh, Hillman or, or perhaps uh, you might be able to get through to the office and be put in contact with Liz uh, if you wish to join that. And of course, at 10 o'clock tomorrow, we have our morning all together worship, which this week is actually from Stanton. Um, so it's a, a Stanton double bill tomorrow. Um, although the family service is from people's homes. So, uh, the, Altogether, worship was filmed a couple of days ago, so uh, Stanton, uh, nobody will actually be in the church at that point. But the day is coming soon when we will be able to join together, albeit still in limited circumstances, but every day, or every minute that passes, is a day closer or a minute closer to when we're together again in person. Uh, every minute and every hour and every day that passes is a day closer to when we can sing again all together, which would be something to celebrate as well. But that is a few more days off, a few more weeks off, I do think. Let's have a moment of quiet, a moment of silence as we recognise that we come into Almighty God's presence. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, Sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence, 
and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today we are using Psalm 31. Psalm 31. Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me, for you, you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. I put my trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have seen my affliction and known my soul in adversity. You have not shut me up in the hands of the enemy. You have set, me, set my feet in an open place. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, my soul and my body also. For my life is wasted with grief and my years with sighing. My strength, full, full, excuse me, my strength fails me because of my affliction, and my bones are consumed. I have a reproach, I have become a reproach to all my enemies, and even to my neighbours. An object of dread to my acquaintances. When they see me in the street, they flee from me. I am forgotten like one that is dead, out of, the, out of mind. I have become like a broken vessel. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is on every side. They scheme together against me and plot to take my life. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I have said, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and save me for your mercy's sake. Lord, let me not be confounded, for I have called upon you. But let the wicked be put to shame. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence. Let speak against the righteous with arrogance, disdain and contempt. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight for all those who put their trust in you. You hide them under the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was in a, as a city besieged. I have said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. 
Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your hearts take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us, and hope is veiled in grief. Hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again, for you are our Lord and God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. If you would like to read the Old Testament reading today, it's from Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 16, verses 10, right through to Jeremiah 17, verse 4. So those readings are reading from Jeremiah. It actually has that uh, passage in there. O oh Lord, my strength and my stronghold, my refuge on the day of trouble, to you shall, shall the nations come, from the ends of the earth and say our, our ancestors have inherited nothing but lies worthless things in which there is no profit can mortals make for themselves gods such are no gods therefore I'm surely going to teach them this time I'm going to teach them my power and my might and they shall know that my name is the Lord We're going to move on to our canticle and I'm going to go for the middle one today, number 33, a song of the word of the Lord. So if you click on the blue hyperlink, you should be able to join in as well. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and snow come down from above, and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I give it, I gave it, sorry. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. So now we listen to God's word, which uh, comes like, uh, like the rain that waters the earth to refresh it. May it refresh our souls as we hear the very word of God. John chapter 9, beginning to read at verse 1. John chapter 9, verse 1. As Jesus walked along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's work might be revealed in him. We must work with the works of him who sent me. Whilst it is day, night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. 
and he had said this, he spat on the ground, made mud with saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes, saying to him, go wash in the pool of Siloam, which means sent. Then he went and washed and came back, able to see. The neighbours and those who had seen him before as a beggar began to ask, is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Some were saying, it is he. Others were saying, no, but it is someone like him. He kept saying, I am the man. But they kept asking him, then how were your eyes opened? He answered, the man called Jesus made mud, spread it on my eyes and said to me, go to Siloam and wash. Then when I went and washed and received my sight, they said to him, where is he? He said, I do not know. They brought to the Pharisees the man who had formerly been blind. Now it was a Sabbath day when Jesus made the mud and opened his eyes. Then the Pharisees also began to ask him how he had received his sight. He said to them, he put mud on my eyes, then I washed and now I see. Some of the Pharisees said, this man is not from God for he does not observe the Sabbath. But others said, how can a man see him? It was your eyes he opened. He said, he is a prophet. Oh, I hope, um, I hope I'm still connected. Um, I said I was absent for a bit then. Uh, okay. Yes, I hope you're still with me. to read Graham James's uh, reflection for this. Jesus, the light of the world, now gives sight to a man born blind. More than that, the previously blind man gradually comes to see who Jesus is. He sees more than the many who had never wanted, who had never wanted for sight. My maternal grandmother became blind from glaucoma shortly before I was born. She was a faithful follower of Jesus Christ. Sometimes she heard the preachers in her chapel suggest that the healing miracles of Jesus, including when he gave sight to the blind, depended on the faith and trust of the one who was healed. And yet she, who had no shortage of faith and trust, had become blind. What did she lack? It was certainly not spiritual sight. The last, the chapter of John's Gospel was a comfort to her. The blind man doesn't even ask to be given sight. Jesus heals him before they exchange a word. He does so by mixing the dust of the earth, out of which we are all created, with his saliva, thought to be a precious source of life in the ancient world. Then the man washes in the pool of Siloam, in water from well beyond Jerusalem, thanks to Hezekiah's long tunnel, excuse me, the creator of all, the light of the world, the fount of living water. They all give the blind man his spiritual as well as physical sight. What signs of God will we be able to see today? Creator of all, the light of the world, the fount of living water, creator, light, the fount of living water. They give all the blind man in his spiritual as well as, uh, they all give the blind man his spiritual as well as physical sight. Eternal God, give us insight to discern your will for us, to give up what harms us, and to seek perfection we are promised in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue with the Benedictus. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. 
He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies. From the hands of all that hate us. Sorry, slight delay there. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. We come to our time of intercession. Uh, I'm going to use the words of the litany. Just going to get my red book out. Uh, I'm going to use the words of uh, the litany, which are quite uh, quite comprehensive, I suppose, in these little short sections. So let us pray first responses that we have here for these next four sentences are have mercy upon us. God the Father, have mercy upon us. God the Son, have mercy upon us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy upon us. Holy, blessed and glorious Trinity, have mercy upon us. For these next sections, the response after each kind of short section is, Good Lord, deliver us. From all evil and mischief, from pride, vanity and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred and malice, and from all evil intent, Good Lord, deliver us. From sloth, worldliness and love of many. From hardness of heart and contempt for your word and your laws. Good Lord, deliver us. From sins of body and mind. From the deceits of the world, the flesh and the devil. Good Lord, deliver us. From famine and disaster, from violence, murder and dying unprepared. Good Lord, deliver us. In all times of sorrow, in all times of joy, in the hour of death, and at the day of judgment. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your birth, childhood and obedience, by your baptism, fasting and temptation, good Lord, deliver us. By your ministry in word and work, by your mighty acts of power, and by your preaching of the kingdom, good Lord, deliver us. By your agony and trial, by your cross and passion, 
and by your precious death and burial. Good Lord, deliver us. By your mighty resurrection, by your glorious ascension, and by your sending of the Holy Spirit, good Lord, deliver us. The next section, the next sections, we respond with, hear us, good Lord. Hear our prayers, O Lord our God. Hear us, good Lord. Govern and direct your holy church. Fill it with love and truth and grant it that unity which is your will. Hear us, good Lord. Give us boldness to preach the gospel in all the world and to make disciples of all the nations. Hear us, good Lord. Enlighten Viv and Lee, our bishops, and all who minister with knowledge and understanding, that by their teaching and their lives they may proclaim your word. Hear us, good Lord. Give your people grace to hear and receive your word and to bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. Hear us, good Lord. Bring into the way of truth all who have erred and who are deceived. Hear us, good Lord. Strengthen those who stand. Comfort and help the faint-hearted. Raise up the fallen and finally beat down Satan under our feet. Hear us, good Lord. Guide the leaders of the nations into ways of peace and justice. Hear us, good Lord. Guard and strengthen your servant Elizabeth, our Queen, that she may put her trust in you and seek your honour and glory. Hear us, good Lord. And you, the High Court of Parliament, and all ministers of the Crown, and all those that work in um, regional and local government, with wisdom, and understanding. Hear us, good Lord. Bless those who administer the law, that they may uphold justice, honesty and truth. Hear us, good Lord. Give us the will to use the resources of the earth wisely, carefully, to your glory and for good of all creation. Hear us, good Lord. Bless and keep all your people. Hear us, good Lord. Bring your joy into all families. Strengthen and deliver those in childbirth. Watch over children and guide the young. Bring reconciliation to those in discord and peace to those in stress. Hear us, good Lord. The next um, section, we respond with, Lord, have mercy. Let me just go. 
going to take the crown off. Help and comfort the lonely, the bereaved, and the oppressed. Lord, have mercy. Keep in safety all those who travel and all who are in danger this day. Lord, have mercy. Heal the sick in body, mind and spirit. We lift before you, Lord, those who are on our hearts this day. We especially pray for Dorinda, Trudy, Jackie, Peg, Julie, Lizzie, Mark, Dennis. Christine, Addie, William, Pauline, Linda, Roy, Stuart, Beryl, Eunice, George, Bob, Mary, Bex, John, Mary, Jordan, Mary, Andrew, and the family, Kath, David, Leslie, Wendy, Jim, Joe, and the family, Natalie, John, Janet, Arthur, Carol and Inca, E and D, Annette, Tony, John, Liz, Dave and the family, and Daniel, all those who are on our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Provide for the homeless, the hungry and the destitute. Lord, have mercy. Show your pity on prisoners and refugees and all who are in trouble. Lord, have mercy. Forgive our enemies, persecutors and slanderers and turn their hearts. Lord, have mercy. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the peace of Christ, both those who have confessed the faith and those whose faith is known to you alone, and grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Give us true repentance. Forgive us our sins of negligence and ignorance and our deliberate sins and grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your holy word. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. The collect for today. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and then did not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, at your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the, u in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. 
Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray, using whichever version that you wish. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me today. I'm sorry if there have been any technical issues. I'm really not quite sure what to do, so I tend not to press any buttons anymore. Um, and I'm sorry if there was a break. Uh, at one point it said I wasn't connected, uh, just for a split second, but then it did, did return. So I hope um, it's not been too bad today. I do apologise if it has. Um, uh, called Bill Gates. Um, you would probably get more sense out of him than you would from me. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you get a chance to go and enjoy the blue sky. Um, it's a bit blustery out there. I'm not sure what the weather forecast is for today beyond blustery. Um, uh, but I do hope you have a, a good and blessed day. I look forward to when we're together again soon. Uh, the good thing is we are now closer to be meeting up together and being together to worship our God than we were when we started this service. Um, and with each passing moment, we're getting closer uh, and hopefully there is light at the end of this tunnel. God bless, have a wonderful day. And may the Lord be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us Help us to be a blessing to each other and our community, that your ways may be known among us. Let all the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Amen.